Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. I know it's been a very long time, but I am finally back. A lot of things have finally started to settle down in my life. Some changes that have allowed me to get back to this. Uh, similar to a couple years ago, creativity or being more creative has been my New Year's res resolution. So here we are. I wanted to give you guys a little update before we get back into the gaming world. Uh, channel's been doing okay since I've been absent for quite some time. So let's, uh, let's update you here. Uh, the first big update we have is I got a new computer. It's a very, very, very nice computer. I've had it for about a week now, uh, and it's been able to play every game no issue at 100% settings at the, the best settings you can get. Uh, and I also got a really nice monitor to go with it. Um, so you can see here, I got an NZXT BLD. Uh, the case is the NZXT H7 Elite with the NZXT Kraken uh, Z63 RGB with LCD display. Uh, very nice Intel Core i9, uh, 24 core, 3.0 gigahertz. Now this is the piece de resistance. You got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, about the best card you can get. Very, very proud of that. Uh, and then here we see the motherboard and our power supply unit. And then I got 64 gigabytes of RAM. So any game out there on the market right now, my computer should be able to run it fantastically so I can share it with you guys. Prior to this video, everything was done on my little laptop that had, uh, you know, just the very basics. It could run some games, uh, but it's, I mean, it struggled to do games and record especially at higher settings. Uh, so I'm very proud of what I've been able to do. A lot of patience and time building up to this, and I'm finally here. Um, so state of the channel. The last video was posted on September 5th of 2022. This today is February the 18th of 23. So let's see, October, November, December, January, February, about five months ago, a little over five and a half months ago. As of today, we are sitting at 224 subscribers. Uh, and then let's go ahead and look at the stats for the last 28 days. About 587 views uh, with 24,000 views lifetime. Uh, we got 72 hours of watch time, about 3.3 thousand in lifetime. And then I only did gain one subscriber in the last month. Uh, so again, with that total of 224 lifetime subscribers. But I can't complain. Like I said, I haven't really done much in the last five months, six months. And even before that, it, it was quite a bit of a break. Uh, so the channel's held its own for the last year or so, uh, since I really was taking this seriously, posting two or three times a week, and I'm hoping to get back to that. Uh, so just a little bit of light up, life update uh, on me, settling into my new job as a dentist. I've been a dentist since 2019. Uh, about a year ago, I switched jobs, uh, a little bit more responsibility in this job, a little bit more work, um, and I'm coming up at one year, end of March will be one year at this position. And I'll be stepping into a larger role in June. I can't really announce that yet, exactly what that entails, but it's a step in the right direction. Uh, let's see, end of January, my brother and I and some of his friends took a nice trip down to Patagonia. I live in the U.S., uh, so we went down to Chile and Argentina for about two weeks and did some backpacking. We did the W Trek Trail, fantastic trail, highly recommend it for anyone that enjoys the outdoors. You get out, you get to see some beautiful mountains, some glaciers, uh, there's a nice lake you hike along. Uh, highly recommend, no matter what your skill set is, if you want to have a true backpacking experience and carry everything on your own, you can. Uh, the campsites also had pre-set up tents you could rent. Some of them had cabins, there was hot showers, there was a, a little dining hall cafeteria at each campsite. So if you only wanted to carry your uh, you know, clothes and a first aid kit and a bottle of water, um, you could do that as well, or we carried all of our gear, our tents and things like that, our food backpacked, uh, from spot to spot. Uh, on the Argentinian side of Patagonia, I think was certainly the more challenging trail and had better views along the way. Um, it was called the Waymill Circuit. So we were in El Chaton, uh, which again is on the Argentinian side of Patagonia. And we were out for four nights on the Waymill Circuit. Uh, this was actually the first time I felt a little unsafe uh, doing a backpacking trip. Not from lack of experience, but just from weather. We were high up in the mountains, and sometimes those winds would pick up, and you'd be on these little tiny trails, these goat trails. And there was a couple times I was like, man, if this wind really picks up, it could uh, blow, blow me off the side of the mountain. Uh, luckily, no one got hurt. It was a fantastic trip. Highly recommend uh, anyone go down there, see it. Beautiful place in the world. Hiking on the glaciers. Uh, again, highly, highly, highly recommend. 
Uh, I did, did start with a personal trainer here soon. I am down 40 pounds since New Year's Day of 22. Um, so yeah, a little over, what, 13 months now. Uh, I would like to continue and just looking to get a little stronger because at the end of August this year, I'll be climbing Mount Rainier with my brother, uh, my old roommate from undergrad, and a couple other folks. So really excited for that. Need to get some upper body strength because my trip to Patagonia showed I am not a young buck anymore. Uh, I'm almost 30. I'll be 30 here in a few months. And, uh, you know, got to gotta do a little strength training. And then hopefully everyone had a good Valentine's Day this week, uh, either by yourself or with your significant other. Uh, I will be celebrating tonight with my uh, lady. So we're going to get massages, dinner, and then have a nice hotel room downtown in our city. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my life update here. So a little, let's talk about the channel and what we want to do. I'm going to go ahead and continue Craft the World and Mini Metro, both really fun games. Uh, Craft the World's actually done very well for the channel. Uh, question is, since I got a new computer, I got to figure out if I can move the save file from my little laptop to the computer. That's something I'm working on here right now. And then Mini Metro, not necessarily worried about the save file. I can't remember what city we did last, but those are quick, simple, easy videos for me to make. Take all 10 and 15 minutes to make. And then I can post those for you guys just to get in some repetitions, get some videos out there. Hopefully start growing that channel again. All right, so some new games I'm thinking about, especially now that I have a computer that can run these and record uh, without having any issues. Uh, Ixion, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, it's a kind of a city builder in space. You're building a space station. I bought it during the Steam sale a couple weeks ago and uh, tried to run it on my, again, my old PC and I, I just couldn't do it. It looks really cool, so we might be checking that out. Eco, I've had for some time. My old PC could run it, but on the bare minimum settings. Um, I actually already have it downloaded on my new computer and was messing around with it this morning. It is absolutely beautiful uh, at the highest settings. My computer had no issues running it. Uh, so we're probably going to be diving into that soon. Uh, Escape from Tarkov, uh, a game that, again, I've had, I've owned for almost two years now. But my PC, it could run it, uh, at least for offline play. But online play, it, it just wasn't good enough for me to, to use. So it, a little bit of a different game for this channel because we've kind of stuck to city builders and things like that. Um, you know, not really action shooters. Uh, we might dabble into it. I've played a couple rounds as a scavenger and did some offline play as well. Uh, very complicated game to learn. So maybe I might start, you know, like journaling my progress, if you will, uh, of Tarkov. And then lastly, this Lords and Villains is a city builder. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. I already got like 60 hours into it, and I've only had it for a month. Uh, so definitely we'll be checking that out soon. So thank you for coming to this short little video. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to leave any comments you want. Obviously, I'm always open to feedback on recording style, the video, my voice, you know, anything you guys want to tell me. Please, please, please tell me so I can become a better presenter for you all. Obviously, if you have any games you want me to check out, always leave those down in the comments as well. I know there's a couple games out there that you guys have left in the comments uh, that I've, eh, I've looked at, um, but always looking for suggestions, whether for myself or for the channel. So please, please, please leave those in the comments down below, or just update me on your life. Let me know what's going on. Um, you know, I haven't talked to a lot of you in, like I said, about six months now, coming up on a year. Uh, so feel free to tell me what's going on in your life, and we can keep each other updated. And then lastly, thank you so much for coming out and watching this video on Tooth and Scrubs Gaming, and we'll see you next time.